a lot of those early GLP-1 agonists, which were things like Trulicity, uh, Ozempic, uh, Wegovy, now Monjaro, uh, have now been FDA approved in recent years for the indication of obesity. So 10 years ago, they, we started using them for diabetes. And so those indications, we used them, they're very effective, and we noticed the side effect of weight loss. And so obesity is something that is very difficult to treat. It's multifactorial. You have metabolic, hormonal, uh, genetic, lifestyle, all play a role in obesity, which makes it very hard to treat. And so having a medication that boasts at six months, you should be losing five to 10% of your weight has been uh, really positive. So these medications are meant to work at our GLP-1 receptors in the body. GLP-1 is a hormone that all of our bodies make that naturally is responsible for insulin production, working at the pancreas. It also helps to, again, regulate appetite. So when our body knows that we're eating something, it more appropriately produces the dopamine signals um, that allow our brain to know really that we're getting full. Um, and then GLP-1 receptor agonists can also slow down how quickly the stomach empties food or digests food into the small intestine. And so from this mechanism, patients will typically say that they feel fuller faster when they're taking one of these GLP-1 receptor agonists for weight loss. One thing doctors will talk to you about when they're starting the medicine is it comes with changing lifestyle as well. So trying to add in 150 minutes of cardiovascular exercise in your week, that will increase your metabolism. So make it easier for you to keep the weight off and then becoming aware of the amount of calories that you take in. And so uh, the data is if you come off it, most patients will regain some of that weight, somewhere between 14 and up to over half of that weight can come back after you stop the medication. So because of that, there are there's the recommendation that you stay on it permanently after you've started it. The patients that are most successful in avoiding a significant amount of weight you're gain are those that have made other lifestyle changes. Um, and in addition, they've also noticed positive effects for some of their other disease states. So in a patient who has hypertension or high blood pressure, if they've noticed that their blood pressure has improved, then they're more likely to put in the work to maintain that blood pressure the way it is. With the medications that we have on the market, all of these are injectables. So um, we have two drugs, terzepatide and semaglutide, that are injected once a week. And then we have one drug, liraglutide, that is injected once a day. All these injections are given in the subcutaneous or the fatty tissue. So the best place to access that fatty tissue um, where we get the best absorption or use of the medication is typically in the stomach area. You know, obesity is related to a lot of health conditions. So, you know, you can have, you know, increased heart attacks, increased strokes, increased cancer. So, you know, things that can kill you. And then other conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, um, even, you know, joint pain. And all of those, you can have significant improvements, reduction in heart attacks, strokes, cancer, improvements in those other diagnoses with even a five to 10% weight loss. It's given us another tool in our tool belt to treat a very difficult condition of obesity. 